This program is offered by Dear friends of TrueHunters.tv, welcome back to our special hunting field test dedicated to one of the most interesting slug commercial cartridge on the market today. The new Baskerian Pellagri Black Coated Shock 12 Gauge Magnum. During the last wild boar hunting season, I have had the opportunity to test it directly on the field on drive hunting. The Shock Slug series by Baschieri and Pellagri includes two commercial ammunition, 12 gauge, the Thrill Shock and the Black Coated Shock, both propelling a same one ounce slug but with a different surface coating and uh, an unlike powder charge. As a matter of fact, these two cartridges, even if developed, on the same projectile concept, which is a, a hybrid between the, the big game slug and the Gualandi slug, they have a different muzzle velocity in order to tailor them for two specific hunting purposes. The thrill shock is accurate and it is faster, so it carries more energy, while the black coated shock is even more accurate at longer distances and let cleaner your barrel. More, there are other two other commercial cartridges that based upon the shock series, the 20 gauge and the 410 gauge. Of the former, I have already made a, a hunting field test that you can watch free of charge on our web TV channel, cacciatoriveri.tv. With uh, its 12 gauge magnum version of the black coated shock concept, the Italian manufacturer proposes a 3 inches 1 and 1 quarter ounce slug that represents a step ahead in terms of energy level, wounding, and stopping power. It is clear that this cartridge can be fired only in 12 gauge magnum or 3 inches chambers. But now let's go directly at the peculiar questionable point of this kind of ammunition, which is the reason why most of the manufacturers develop magnum slug cartridges. Although they are more powerful, on the contrary, they normally result less accurate and produce more recoil and muzzle jump than the standard counterparts. The main reasons are two. The first one regards the US market that uh, from many decades now demands uh, this uh, kind of charges for bear, mountain lion, deer and wild boar hunting, especially in those uh, states in which rifles are strictly forbidden. The second reason is to offer a cartridge capable of allowing any hunter to drop down quickly any game, dangerous and non-dangerous, wounded or not, at short or at very short distance with a smooth power, a smooth bore shotgun. Regarding these assumptions, uh, we all know that many hunting guides in America and in Africa still use 12 gauge magnum pump guns to track down wounded dangerous games, especially in thick bushes and vegetation where a magnum slug is just ideal for the purpose. These are uh, the technical and logistical reasons uh, that drive Baschieri and Pellagri in developing a 12 gauge magnum cartridge. They have done it with two main targets on mind. The first one was to obtain the maximum possible level of energy at the muzzle, so they developed a, a one and a quarter ounce slug propelled at a dramatic velocity. The second one was to effectively improve the accuracy of their magnum cartridge, 
So they decided to base the new magnum slug upon the black-coated standard projectile, which boasts a special and a exclusive black surface coating to reduce friction with the barrel of the gun. More, uh, this special black coating uh, leaves the barrel perfectly clean even after dozens of shots. The new Baschieri and Pellagri black coated shocks 12 gauge magnum slug cartridge leaves the muzzle at 1510 uh, FPS, producing an astonishing 3120 foot pound of energy. With such numbers, the new black coated magnum slug fits perfectly the most demanding big game hunter. This is a cartridge that offers the maximum level of stopping power and penetration at longer distances with an excellent level of accuracy, let's say at the same level of a standard no maximum slug. Baschieri and Pellagri has developed a special WAD for this magnum slug in order to offer a perfect level of stabilization to its projectile. The shell is Gordon type. It is uh, commercialized in the market uh, in five cartridge packages. Starting my field test, I decided to take confidence with uh, this cartridge at the 50 yards range, firing it with uh, the three most used smoothbore guns for wild boar drive hunting. The Benelli M2 Camo Slug, the brand new Benelli Ethers with a 24 inch smooth barrel equipped with a cylinder choke and an LPA special slug sight set for its rim. And the super classic Remington 870 deer pump action slug gun. The reason why I decided to test uh, this cartridge with three different barrels is because I needed to verify its accuracy level performance with the three standard wild boar guns, in particular with the two guns that boast the widest commercial diffusion, the Benelli M2 slug and the Remington 870 deer gun, uh, which mount uh, 20 inches barrels uh, with front and rear sights, plus a last generation smoothbore gun equipped with a 24 inches rear barrel as the Etus. Above all, I was curious to verify the groups produced with this cartridge by three barrels having completely different ballistic features. I think that this is the only way to give you the most reliable parameters and information about the real performance of this product. As a matter of fact, there is a lot of expectation for this new cartridge in consideration of the very large commercial success of the 12 uh, gauge trill shock and the black coated shock. Concerning the zeroing of the three guns, I decided to keep the point of impact of the projectile just on top of the front sight so perfectly aligned with the two fiber optics dots of the rear sight, avoiding the method of completely covering uh, the target with the front sight, since I believe this is the most accurate method of acquiring a fast moving target such as a running wild boar. As already mentioned, I opted for a 50 yard distance zeroing for all the three guns in order to uniform the huge of their respectively level of, our, of accuracy. So now let's go together at the shooting range and then soon after the grouping and the zeroing we will go directly on the wild boar hunting field in Tuscany, Italy. Here I am at the at the shooting range of the gun shop uh, Armeria Innocenti nearby Monte Murlo, Prato, Florence. Um, the purpose of my first uh, attempt with this uh, Black Shock Magnum by Baschieri e Pellagri is to verify uh, the capacity and, uh, and the accuracy of this uh, ammunition. I will use uh, uh, three different shotguns. Uh, I, let me introduce them to you. This is uh, the Power Bore Benelli, which is uh, known as Ethos in the USA and the international market. Then I have another Benelli, the M2 Camouflage, 
Then I have a, the super classic Remington 870 pump action slug gun. Okay, all the three shotguns has uh, 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 sights, slug sights for, for shooting uh, uh, this kind of ammunition. Uh, I have already tested last year uh, the the standard version, the 70 millimeters, uh, um, says the uh, two three quarter uh, inches uh, uh, black shock ammunition by Baschieri e Pellagri, and now uh, with the same three uh, shotguns at the same distance, says uh, 50 yards, and uh, I want to verify uh, the, eventually if there are some uh, difference of point of impact, then I will choose. Uh, for the hunting field test, uh, the two best uh, uh, group, uh, and so I will decide which kind of, uh, of, the, of shotgun I will use on the field. Okay, now I will shoot uh, uh, four rounds for, uh, for each uh, uh, shotgun and we'll choose which is the best. Let's see which is the most accuracy rifle. <laughs> Now, uh, the conclusion. Uh, I am uh, in front of uh, the proof of uh, this test. Okay, let's start with the group of the Remington 870 uh, pump action. Uh, this is uh, the, the worst group of the three. Uh, let me tell you, uh, there is some uh, uh, intolerance. Uh, between uh, the the barrel of uh, of uh, this uh, shotgun uh, and this kind of ammunition, as you can see, there are two uh, two bullet in the same hole, and then I, uh, we have uh, two uh, shots, one up, very up, and one down. So uh, I don't think that uh, this ammunition can be used on the field. Uh, uh, with this uh, the, this uh, shotgun, um, the point of impact, uh, i, i, considering uh, the, the standard 70 millimeters uh, uh, ammunition, is uh, is uh, higher, uh, and this is uh, this uh, really surprised me because uh, I thought that uh, the magnum uh, the magnum version, uh, since it's it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, slower. Uh, could the impact uh, uh, slower in the in the in the in the target? But uh, as you can see, uh, this is not the rule. And the, the, I must say that this ammunition is very fast, uh, very very fast, 460 meters per second uh, at the muzzle uh, for 431 kilogram uh, of 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 energy. At the muzzle, so it's a, it's a it's a little bomb, and uh, but this is uh, exactly the result. Of, of, so I I don't think I will I will use it on the field. A different case with the Benelli M2 uh, slug gun, which made a fantastic group at 50 yards for a Magnum. Uh, ammunition. This is uh, this is uh, astonishing. Astonished me really. Uh, the fourth, the fourth shot went very high. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe because uh, um, the 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 barrel was uh, very very hot. Uh, with this ammunition, it it, uh, it burns very fast. So I I don't. But I, what I have to consider is this group of the three shots. It's fantastic. So. Uh, I, I will uh, certainly use this gun on the field. A completely different matter, as you can see, for the Powerbore Atos with uh, a, a rib barrel of uh, 60 centimeter with uh, um, a, 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 some sights, uh, aftermarket sights I have put on um, 
in order to have a little uh, um, possibility of uh, uh, making the, the, the group uh, on the left, on, on the right, to make some correction. But uh, what uh, the, the group itself is not very bad. I, ha I mean, I have two, shot, two uh, slugs here. And then I, I know that uh, the, the barrel was very, very hot at this point, and so I made the, uh, a flyer here. Uh, the point of aim, the aim point was here. So it's very, as you can see, the point of impact uh, is, is very high and is higher uh, in, uh, in respect of the, what were the result with the, with the standard 70 millimeters ammunition. Uh, the, the group of which was uh, around here. So why why is higher? A, a magnum, the magnum version uh, sh should be uh, lower. This is I, I, I don't know why because uh, it's uh, something that uh, I will uh, try to uh, give an answer. But uh, but uh, maybe is it's because uh, the, the the velocity uh, of the of the of this magnum. Is very high, so it's not uh, exactly uh, what we expect to to have on a Magnum uh, uh, ammunition. Uh, otherwise, the group uh, I, I consider this group uh, quite good. Uh, just we have just to ha make some correction on the barrel, on the sides, uh, working on the on the on the front side. I will put a, 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 a smaller uh, front side in order to lower. The point of impact, and uh, and uh, and we can go hunting with that also with the power bore and the atos. Okay, uh, this is uh, the conclusion of, at the tunnel and uh, at the shooting range. Now let's go hunting. Well, this is uh, the moment of the truth, the second moment of the truth. To tell you the truth, because uh, uh, I have already uh, caught a. 130 female boar, wild boar, uh, but I couldn't uh, take any report of this uh, of this hunt because uh, uh, we were under heavy rains, so I couldn't take my camera, my video camera off. It was, uh, let me tell you what's happened, it was a, a very nice shot an offhand shot. I have seen the, the animal running fast so I, I took this shot and uh, I didn't feel to have caught it but uh, then I have found some blood and then I have found the animal uh, under some old trees about 25 yards from, from the point I have shot it. Uh, it was uh, caught uh, on the lungs and uh, the, the, the black shock of, uh, slug, magnum, magnum of the of Basque, by Basque de Pelagri, have completely passed through uh, the animal, which was uh, on three quarters in front of me. So uh, a, ve a very nice uh, performance, uh, at least uh, this first uh, performance of the field. So now uh, I, I have uh, uh, more luck for this uh, uh, drive because uh, I am uh, at, uh, at uh, a very fortunate, uh, very lucky post. I have a lot uh, of space in front of me. It's, uh, it's a very clear wood, uh, so I will uh, be able to take aim properly, to place my shot uh, properly and clearly. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, uh, upset about uh, the the problem of uh, of the autofocus of the of my video camera because when there are so many trees, uh, sometimes uh, when the animal run can be uh, the autofocus can be a little bit confused. But uh, I will try to do my best to try. I will try to do my best uh, both uh, with uh, with the, the video camera and with my Benelli M2. Uh, slug and with my Baskerian Pelagri Black Shock Manual.
Here it is, my second boar, my second wild boar, a male or about 140, 150 pounds. I shot, I, I shot to him two uh, black shot magnum. The first one hit it in the lungs and uh, the, the animal was uh, completely out of power. But uh, I had to, to shoot again because uh, six uh, dogs were coming very fast. They were very close to the animal so I didn't want uh, to create any uh, 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 opportunity for, for, for the wild boar to hit uh, the dogs. So uh, I, I take, I take uh, the second shot and the, the animal dropped uh, on his tracks. But I'm very satisfied both for my Pascheri and Pellagri Black Shark Magnum, the second animal dropped practically on its tracks, and uh, about obviously my Benelli M2 Comfort Edge Slug Camouflage. Uh, I'm here with uh, <laughs> my boss son, Mattia Cionetti, which I pleased a lot with me at, at the post, uh, and uh, he bring with him uh, he, he bring with him uh, a lot of uh, fortune. Okay, Mattia, let's go and take it another one, bigger. Here it is, my medium-sized wild boar, dear true hunters. Unfortunately, due, due to heavy rains, I couldn't switch on my camcorder to record the, the action. But uh, let me explain you briefly uh, what's happened. The, the, the animal came at the post without the dogs. Uh, so, I, when I have seen it, it, I, it was very close to me, but I couldn't shoot because uh, there was the other post. So I had to wait the animal cross the line of the post. But, that, but uh, then at that point he entered into heavy thick bush. Uh, I have seen a little bit the animal uh, moving. So I, I tried with one shot and then I, I have heard the animal uh, making a lot of noise. So I was sure that it was uh, hit very heavy. So um, uh, I, I can see that uh, the, the, the Basgerian Pellagri Magnum Black Shock have uh, passed completely through uh, the animal and the animal make just uh, 10 yards and then drop it down. I'm very happy because uh, uh, I had uh, to test it, the, the, this slug uh, through heavy vegetation, I had uh, I have had the opportunity to do that, and it's fantastic. It's very tough, very tough slug, and uh, well, the animal is not all that big, but uh, its interest is about uh, 80 pounds. Uh, so I'm very happy. Okay, I hope uh, in the proceeding of the test to be able to give you also some other uh, actions. See you later. Dear two hunters friends, here I am again for our test of uh, the Black Shock Magnum by Baschieri Pelagri Slux and with my Benelli camouflage. Uh, I have been very fortunate today because I've, I have a, a really nice post on this drive for wild boars. I have a in front of me I have uh, an old cut of wood, about four years old, with uh, many play uh, different uh, situations, uh, some clean uh, uh, place, places, some very dirty places, an ideal situation to test a brand new slug uh, for wild boar. Uh, I'm very confident uh, because there is a lot of movement of these animals. Uh, lots of fresh tracks and uh, I'm not very confident indeed for, for the weather it's very bad as uh, all this season was very 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 bad strong winds heavy rains and it looks like rain again so 
I hope to be able to make some uh, action shots, action footages, and uh, okay, I'm going to load my Benelli with this fantastic black shock magnet and see what's happening. I knew, I knew that I've got it. It was a very difficult shot because this wild boar was running quite fast, uh, zigzagging in, uh, amongst uh, some rocks. I, I didn't want to shoot uh, inside the rocks with, uh, with a slug and so I had to wait. Uh, that he, he it passed uh, through some uh, some uh, clean uh, uh, bush uh, and then uh, I I took uh, three shots and then at this, with the second one I've got it right right uh, uh, in, in in the in the right place <laughs> uh, and I, I have seen with the second shot that uh, I've got it and uh, I have seen it uh, rolling. And uh, uh, but uh, there, there, there were some uh, other dogs barking with other wild boar around, so I had to wait uh, quite uh, the end uh, of the drive. Uh, I'm very satisfied uh, about this uh, slug. It's very tough, very very tough, and have a deep penetration. Very, uh, uh, it's uh, well balanced. Uh, a good release of, of energy on the animal and a good penetration. So I'm very, very satisfied and you will be uh, satisfied too. Okay, see you on studio. Dear True Hunters friends, welcome back to our studio for a sum up of my hunting field experience. For what it concerns the accuracy compartment of uh, this cartridge, it is necessary to make two preliminary statements. The first is that although its performance could uh, vary upon the type of barrel used, it has demonstrated to be by far more accurate than most of the magnum slug cartridge I have tested in a recent past, especially at long distances. Evident sign of a well-made and perfectly balanced cartridge. It is obvious that uh, it is um, mandatory a pre-test at the shooting range in order to verify the compatibility between uh, this cartridge and your own barrel. The second uh, uh, preliminary statement regards the fact that uh, if your gun has been zeroed with a standard slug, the point of impact uh, with uh, this magnum slug can be located uh, in a very different spot of your target so you will need to zero uh, your gun again. As regards the efficiency and efficacy of this cartridge I must point out two peculiar uh, features that distinguish it from the black coated shock standard model. The magnum version boasts a, a higher level of penetration and thanks to its great velocity at the muzzle, at short distances is able to properly expanding to release most of its energy to the game. For the hunter who stays at the post on a drive hunting, this is exactly what he is demanding for. It must be said that uh, the recoil is uh, at a high level, so it is recommended to use the latest generation recoil pads or high-tech stocks. Another very important question regards the uh, dog safety with the use of this cartridge at very short distance when the dogs are on the game. Since uh, the full penetration of the game at very short distance is quite the norm with Magnum Slug, it is highly recommended to pay the maximum attention when shooting to avoid eating the dogs. After 36 cartridges fired on my Benelli M2 camo slug gun, I checked the barrel 
and find it very clean. And this is a very important feature, especially if you aren't in remote places for a long time. The new Baschieri and Pellagri black coated shock magnum slug cartridge is a product really well made that will make drive hunters and big game hunters well, with slug guns fully satisfied. Well guys, my test report has now come to the end. I really hope to have been able to give you some useful information through my personal experience in the hunting field. I wish you my really best and see you again at the next field test on TrueHunters.tv. This program was offered by 